Guys, welcome to the new segment of Sticks Show. I wanted to create something where we can talk about no holds bar various cybersecurity problems that most of the time we notice, but the management or the leadership department may not be aware of. Or maybe they see it, they just playing blind. Or they're just plain stupid. So, this is it. Welcome to Stick Show Friday Firewall Frenzy Podcast. Feel free to share any cybersecurity rant you may have. It's your chance to let it all out. This topic is about cybersecurity certifications. First, we have too many cybersecurity certifications, and we already know that. But still, many people doesn't even know which certifications really have value. For example, HR or IT recruiters don't even know that there are many levels, and surprisingly, even other IT professionals. For example, there is this new certification. It's called Certified in Cybersecurity by ISE Squared. And it's becoming really, really popular now because the name is catchy. So I passed the exam, really easy. The preparation time was only four hours. And uh, kid you not, it's a high school or college level type of an exam. Yeah, that easy. So I posted the badge on LinkedIn. And guess what? I received like 200 likes flash reactions. And like, this is a prestigious certification. <laughs> No, this is just an entry level or technician level certification. Yes, yeah, it's good to have for beginners or for those who are starting, but take note, there are other levels. So the entry level is the lowest. Above entry level or technician level, there's this associate level. The example of associate level certifications, these are CompTIA Security Plus, CEH or Certified Ethical Hacker, what else? Fortinet Certified Associate in Cybersecurity. For the mid-level, which is above associate, we have CCNP or Cisco Certified Network Professional in Security. What else? PCNSE or Palo Alto Networks Certified Network Security Engineer. What else? OSCP or Offensive Security Certified Professional. These are mid or professional level certifications. And of course, we have the expert levels. These are CCI in Security, OSWE or Offensive Security, Web Expert, what else? CISSP, and many others. Next, some people are saying certifications are useless without hands-on skills or practical experience. So here's a question. How do you get those experience and opportunities? Hmm, let me think. We have connections, but what if you don't have connections? Bachelor's degree? Well, it's not enough, and it can be too expensive in other countries as well. What else? Oh yeah, there's one more option to get those opportunities. Valuable certifications. Think about it. If you spend four to five months in exam preparation and you aim for two certifications per year, that would be a total of eight certifications in four years. Way better than a four-year college degree. Next, some people have many certifications, but they don't have the technical skills. Probably. They're just good in studying and passing the exams, but not really versed with hands-on. That's not really bad. What's bad is some people, they just cheat to pass those exams. That's why personally, I promote hands-on lab certification exams, such as Offensive Security, Arista, Security Blue Team, eLearn Security, and many others. Here's the thing. Certifications are investments. Whether you're really good at what you do or just average, those individuals who invested in many certifications, like it or not, they have plus points. And it's about the journey, you know? Just imagine all of the lab practices you did, all of the books you read, and all of the research, all of the hard work. Of course you will get something like salary increase, promotions, or more opportunities. Again, eight certifications or just even five valuable certifications is still better than a college degree and expert level certifications are way better than master's degree next bloggers slash vloggers who knows nothing about cybersecurity certifications 
I know YouTubers, they created their best cyber security certifications. And obviously, they're just joining the bandwagon. And you know what they did? On their list, they included CCNA, Network Plus, and even AWS Certified Cloud Practitioner. And you know, network and cloud concepts are good foundation, no doubt. But those certifications are not focusing on security. Okay, so just a little trivia before there was a CCNA security. It's Security Plus or CompTIA Security Plus, but focusing on Cisco platforms. The point is, those YouTubers, they should have mentioned not CCNA, not AWS Certified Cloud Practitioner. They should have mentioned Cisco Certified Cyber Ops Associate or Professional and AWS Certified Security Specialty. Like what I mentioned, there are too many cybersecurity certifications. So how would you know which is the best or the right for you? All you need to do is check my playlist. So click the link below. Best certifications for 2023. For cybersecurity, there are many paths. So I created dedicated certification videos for Blue Team slash security operations, penetration testing, cloud security, vendor security certifications, and even new cybersecurity certifications. So for those who think they know cybersecurity, but not as much as they believe, I've got two words for you. Hack up.